welcome to Very Curious Place. I'm fiddling with the camera. Now, I'm wearing my dress because the cat got all the pants were dirty. So, um, that's in the other video. So, anyway, I am out and about today. And this video, I wanted to talk about subscription boxes. I love subscription boxes. I do. I, um, I enjoy the surprise of opening them. Excuse me, has to be done. I'm getting such trapped lips recently. But anyway, yeah. I enjoy the surprise of opening a subscription box and, you know, um, the looking into it and seeing what it is and the different products and different things like that. Sorry, I've got a mint in my mouth. <laughs> The one thing I do not like, well, it's two things I don't like. I don't like the prices on some subscription boxes because from what you get, some of them aren't worth it. Um, and I don't like having to deal with customer service because in the big companies, you get the customer service and they don't really bend on a lot of stuff. And that's like the big, big ones like, you know, Loot Crate, you know. Geek Fuel, you know, Fat Fit Fun, dif uh, different ones like that. They don't really bend on things. Then you've got the, um, the, um, you can see where the cat got me. <laughs> um, you've got the, um, the, the pr privately started subscription boxes, and my mouth just does not want to work with my brain today. And on those, you've got, like, maybe one person trying to do it all so they have a hard time now hi grace when it comes to boxes like geek fuel i like geek fuel i haven't heard anything bad about it um i've only gotten one box from them i liked it okay i didn't like it great um the one thing i did did really notice about geek fuel is that <laughs> The quality of the items was there, and even kind of the quantity, but they um, they screwed up on the t-shirt. Um, apparently, they assumed, I put in that I wanted a men's, um, but I got a female's. And I got it in a size smaller than I actually ordered, too. Um, and the problem with female shirts and men's shirts, women's and men's, is that... Um, Women's shirts tend to be cut down to be a little bit more fitting and tailored. And if you have big chest, which I'm not exactly petite in that area, and if you've got big hips, also not petite in that area, um, those tailored down shirts that are, you know, meant to like show off your curves, they don't fit. Um, you try and put one on and it basically looks like somebody shoved a sausage into a corset. You know, um, you've got stuff bulging out of spaces that, you know, you're just like, huh, I never noticed that roll. So, yeah. That is why I only ever got one Geek Fuel box. <laughs> um, Loot Crate, when they started out, I really liked Loot Crate. When I started getting Loot Crate, which was last year, I really liked them. But they started going downhill. Um... And I was just like, yeah, no. And it was just, it was like, the longer it went, the more downhill it went. And I was just like, not real happy with it. And so, yeah. Not only, not only are they going downhill, like quality-wise, um, quantity-wise, they're going down. There are some things I think are just like fillers little the the paper pictures and things like that those to me are just fillers um all these boxes have their one little thing that they do like the pins or the the coins and some things and those are great but that's kind of filler to me i don't think that should be added into the content of the box it's like if you say the box is gonna have five to seven items 
don't include that in there. Don't include like a piece of paper. <laughs> you know, um, because you know what? A piece of paper, that's, it's paper. It's basically, you know, has no value. The other thing I noticed about Loot Crate recently is everything is an exclusive Loot Crate. And, I mean, they put, put their little fit paper up and it's like, exclusive Loot Crate item. And the last box I got everything and it was an exclusive Loot Crate item. And, it's like I said in that video, I don't think they understand that putting exclusive Loot Crate item in front of something doesn't make it better. It doesn't. Um, I wish it did. But it doesn't. These official Loot Crate items, I put 10 of them. Well, actually there's about 8 Loot Crate items that I've gotten out of them. Put them on eBay to sell. Didn't put any, you know, buy it now amounts. It was all, you know, basically, you know, you, uh, you bid and you get it for what you get it for. You know, um, so I did that and none of them sold. Even though eBay had them marked at very high chance of sales, none of them sold. None of them. There weren't even any bids on any of them. And that just kind of cements my belief that, you know, just because you can put exclusive in front of something, it doesn't make it better. And it doesn't mean that you're going to, I don't know, get more out of it. So, I'm trying to keep an eye on the dogs. Um, but yeah, I don't, I've gotten kind of um, blasé about Loot Crate. Used to love it. Would have loved to have tried it some more, but they have kind of just gone so downhill and they don't seem to be doing better just like it used to be five to seven items on the thing when you would get it well now when you look onto there they've actually lowered the number of items that you're getting for the same price I don't think so that's not right but that's what they're doing I don't know what's going on within their company don't really care. <laughs> Fix it. Go out of business. Whatever you're all going to do, you know, just, I think they should be honest with people though. If they're having internal problems, if they're having money problems, be honest. Put out a press release. Say, listen, here's what's going on right now. We are doing, and we are doing our best to, you know, keep going. We're doing our best to get you the best boxes we can. Right now, we just need you to be patient with us. If they would do that, you know, Maybe, you know, whatever the uh, amount of the box you're paying for, say like you're getting, let's say you're getting a $30 box. If they want to keep their business, take $5 off of every box and tell them for right now, until we get all of our internal problems solved, we're going to give everybody a $5 discount on their boxes. Just for being patient with us and staying with us, you know. I think if they did that, I can't get comfortable in this car. Normally I'm so comfortable in this car, but I cannot get comfortable today. I don't know what is wrong with me. I did not sleep. I was uncomfortable all night too. But I think, <clears throat> random, I think if they did that, it would help. Then you have the other boxes, like FabFitFun. I will say this, FabFitFun, it's a, four times a year. That's it. Um, they are gray boxes. I I do question some of the stuff they put in there. Um, I was just looking through. Where was that? Here it was. I just had happened to find my booklet that was in my last Bad Fit Fun back. God, I don't even know when. But um, it says spring. But so. And I was going through this, and I was looking at it again, and it says the total value of the box is anywhere between three forty-seven and three fifty-four ninety-nine, which is good because I mean you pay what fifty bucks for it, so I mean that's great. You're getting about a three hundred dollars. You're getting three hundred dollars more, so give or take. But then I looked at 
I like the items they have in there. Okay, first off, they've got the reversible clutch. Since we're we're talking about FabFitFun, they have the reversible clutch. Okay. Now, I got the cream colored one. So see that one right there? I got that one. It's a cute little clutch. It is. I don't like it. <laughs> it's cute. It is. It is not, I don't see how they could retail it for $60. I don't see why anyone would pay 60 bucks for that. Maybe that's just me. It's cute. It's something that you take out to like, it's not an everyday bag. You cannot use this every day. Um, I think, you know, special occasions, you know, so on and so forth. I did not particularly care for the colors. Like I said, I got the cream colored one. I have pets. I am a klutz. So giving me something that is basically white. You're just asking for me to make it a mess. I mean, seriously. And the entire inside is cream colored too. So that's just basically saying, here, we want to see how fast it takes you to ruin this. Um, and I would. I would. If I was using it. I keep it in a box. Um. So, I mean, um, it's not really a feasible item. Um, then you've got the roller thing. I think I'm pointing at it. Am I pointing at it? Right there. That. Okay. It's a Physique 57 massage roller. Great. You can only use it on your legs. Because of the way it works with the handles, the only way it will really work is if you can hold both the handles. So, I mean, I guess you could massage your stomach and your legs. But, I mean, just like, I tried to use it on my neck. It is next to impossible to grab both of those handles and use it on your neck. Um, and if you are just trying to use, like, one handle, it does not work well because you cannot get enough pressure on it with one handle. So, um, I think that was another thing. It just, it, it's supposed to help, uh, sore, achy muscles, improve flexibility, break up scar tissue, keep tender muscles at bay. Okay. That's great. But most of my issues are in my back or in my neck and my lower back. Okay. To get that to work, you have to have another person. Is basically what it is to do it anywhere on your back or on your arms you have to have another person you I, I mean unless you are like double jointed you're not going to be able to use both hands and get enough pressure where it does anything good you know um let's see then there was the uh leather eye mask the faux the understated leather starry-eyed travel eye mask. It's cute. I would never pay 40 bucks for anything like that. I will say this. At least they gave me the pink and not the cream. Um, it's vegan leather, so I know that makes it automatically more expensive. It's got the cooling insert, which is great. I will never use that. Um, it's in a box, too. You know, I think, you know, they put a lip statement palette in here. Let's show you that one. That, that one right there. Now, that's a nice one. But, you know, I, um, I'm of the belief that, you know, lip statement palettes are great. But I get so much liquid lipstick and lipstick of other stuff in other boxes over the time. What I really would have liked to have had would have been something more along the lines of like a contour kit, a highlighting kit, or even an eye palette that had something other than just browns and nudes. I have gotten two or three eye palettes out of subscription boxes, and they're all browns, nudes, bronzes, and I like plums. I, I like plums, I like, you know, light lavenders, stuff like that. Smoky colors, I like those. All I keep getting is browns. <laughs> um, some of them I've gotten from FabFitFun, you know. These are cute colors in the lip palette. I 
can't see myself using any of them because what am I going to do? Carry around a palette? A little brush and you know when I'm stopped at a stoplight, reapply my lipstick? I don't think so. You know, like the lotions and stuff like that, I like. I did not, this was the one where the jewelry choices were either, let me show you. The jewelry choices were either tassel earrings, which are so not me because I don't even have both my ears pierced right now, or a bracelet, which I thought, oh, bracelet, that's great. Yeah. It is so tiny and it is so awkward to put on. There's no way I could use it. I could wear it. Um, it's cute. Don't get me wrong. It's cute, but I, I couldn't wear it. And then I've used, you know, I look at stuff and, and, uh, and I, I wonder, you know, what they were thinking when they picked out some of these items, you know, just like, uh, it goes over here to go through the eye palette, the uh, lip, lip lip plastic palette, and I'm just like, yeah, these are great, but I mean, they're not, you know, and it even gives you a, how to get the most out of your lip palette and, you know, stuff like that, and that's great, but, you know, I mean, come on. Most of us want to be able to use it and run, so the only thing I can honestly say I've really gotten any good use out of from FabFitFun is this little bag, which right now weighs a small ton, but um, yeah, I've got my little bag with my little handle, and it is very tiny. It is big enough for that and my wallet, which is not in it currently, it's my cute wallet. I work so that my cats can uh, have a better life, can live a better life. It's a present. So it's enough to fit this stuff in it. And it is packed to the gills. So yeah. Um, that's one of the few things that I've actually gotten that I really do like. And then the, um, there was the uh, Z chest. Only ever gotten one of those. I really did like it. I still don't know the purpose of the little orange light thing. It's cool when you turn it on in the dark, though. <laughs> it really is. And I do love my, I do love my keychain, you know, Umbrella Corporation. Um, so, I did get some stuff out of the Z chest that I really did like. Um, still haven't worn my, you know, Stay Calm, Kill Zombies shirt. Um, I have used the, the little flower sack towel. <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to use it for. I'm just using it as a towel. <laughs> you know. Um, but it is, that's what it is. It's a flower sack towel, basically. And I used to get them all the time, years ago. Because they were easy to, you know, clean up stuff. And you use them as, um, diaper rags. Um, too. Burp rags. When, um... My little cousins were, were young. We would have them around the house. When my brother was young, we would have them around the house. And then when my nephew was young, I would have them around the house. Um, because, you know, you grab a flower sack towel, you throw it over your shoulder, and that's a burp rack. And if it gets destroyed, well, it's not that big of a deal because you go buy a big bundle of them at, like, Walmart. Really pretty cheap. So, um, they're good for what they're good for. Um... So, I mean, that's a nice, it's, it's a cute idea. It's not a very functional item. I like functional items. Um, <coughs> and I see a lot of these other items that they have out, the subscription boxes. Bark Box and Ipsy and, you know, BoxyCharm and, you know, and I, I like them and I think they're cool. And I've even seen, you know, they've got the, um, subscription boxes which basically just really cheap and it's little earrings and you get them really cheap and I, I like the idea of them I do I don't have pierced ears so that wouldn't do me any good even if it is only two bucks a month <laughs> but uh but yeah so that wouldn't do me a lot of good but it's a cute idea and then you have things like single swag <coughs> now single swag is what started this this I don't know if it's a rant a vlog a you know, a review of the different subscription boxes. Maybe that's what it is. A review of subscription boxes. Okay. Um, she's asleep down by the car. <laughs> and her brother's destroying things out of 
sight. So he is determined to become co covered in cockle burrs every day as much as he possibly can because then he comes and rubs on me and I end up covered in cockle burrs. So. But yeah, um, so that was random. Um, single swag. I've gotten this a lot um, over the past like year or so. Um, I've done a few of them, unboxings. I do like it. Sorry, I thought that was a bee. I'm having bee issues right now. So, I, um, I do like it. I think it's a fun box. Um, it's like normally like a $39 box. Okay. Um, I do have some issues with, with some, um, single swag. Here's my issues. I told you in last month's unboxing that I have canceled single swag. I also am told you about how nice, how they were so nice that, you know, well, as soon as you want to reactivate, just let us know. We're going to give you 30% off your next box when you reactivate. Now see the words when you reactivate are the important part of this conversation. Um, and I started not to do this video and then I thought, no, you know what? I'm not happy and they did wrong. So y'all need to know because you need to know if this happens to you. Fluff. <laughs> I'm like a squirrel. Shiny, you know. So, But anyway, so but when you reactivate, that is the important part of that, okay? And I had said, oh, well, that's great. I said, well, how will I get it on my account next time when I do decide to reactivate? Oh, don't worry. We're going to go ahead and put it on your account so that when you reactivate, when you reactivate, you will get 30% off of that box whenever you do it. Okay, awesome. Okay, as far as I was concerned, the conversation was over and done with. Over and done with. I was wrong. <laughs> so, so wrong. Um, but I thought it was over and done with. I thought I was canceled. They told me I was canceled. I thought we were done. Okay. Then I went to get into my account. And I, I was like, no, that, that doesn't look right. That, that number doesn't look right. I should have more in there. And so I go in and I check my account and there has been a transaction from single swag on my account. The same single swag that I canceled, canceled. And was not supposed to get another, um, charge on it. So then I go and I leave them an email. I send them an email. Um, I canceled my subscription. Y'all have charged me. I want my subscription canceled immediately and I want my money refunded. Simple to the point. Later that day, I believe it was, I got an email back. We're so sorry for any inconvenience. Your account hasn't been officially canceled and you will not be charged again until you reactivate. Okay, simple enough. I thought we were done. I thought that means refund. So I wait a day and then I wait another day and then another one and my account notifies me if I've, you know, get deposits put on my account or withdrawals, anything like that. Um, so I wait and I wait. Nothing comes back. So I'm I'm at this point I'm like, huh, okay. I'm not happy. But it's a little crayon. <laughs> Laser lemon. But uh, I um I sent him an email. I said, you know what? Accidents happen. We're gonna see. I sent them an email and I said, you know, listen, you reactivated my account without my permission. You took money out of my account without my permission. I said, so I contacted you. You said it was can my account was officially canceled. I said, and, but I haven't gotten a refund on my money. I said, where's my money? <laughs> you know, and I'm being nice. Outwardly, I'm saying, where's my refund? Inwardly, I'm saying, bitch, give me my money. Okay, so, but I'm trying not to actually write that in the email. 
because that would be rude. True, but rude. So anyway, <clears throat> I send that email off and like the next day I get an email back. We're so sorry for any inconvenience. It's starting to become a habit. Um, your account has been canceled. However, <laughs> you will get the, the box that you have paid for and then you will not be charged again. I don't, I don't want the box you charged me for. That was the point. Um, but very, very politely was told, you're not getting your money back. Oh, single swag. Hashtag love yourself. Hashtag where's my money, bitch. Seriously. Hashtag where my money, bitch. Seriously. So basically what I am saying is that, and I have, I filmed this video ahead of time. I tried to film this video the other night, um, but it was too dark. So basically, I was single swagged against my will. Against my will, I was single swagged. Against it! I did not want this box. I did not sign up for this box. And yet, I have this box and I paid for this box because nobody would give me my money back. Not happy. So I go to, and yes, this has been opened already because like I said, I tried to film this the other day, but it was too damn dark. Um, went in and looked at it and I was like, yeah, you can't even see anything. So I go in and it says that the value of this box, total retail value is $204. Okay. In theory, that sounds good, but there's like, there's seven things in here. Okay. But I'm not happy with this box. Okay. If I had paid for, well, what am I saying? I did pay for this box. If I had wanted this box, I would not be happy with the items in this box. Okay, let me give you an example. Hi, baby, how are you? Are you playing with Bubba? Is Bubba being mean? Bubba's not being mean. He's covering in cockle burrs again though, isn't he? He's just rolling around him. Okay, yeah, you can stay there. So anyway, and the first, as everybody knows, that if they know anything about single swag, the one thing, ow, Grace, don't do that. Those toenails hurt. The one thing you know is that every single swag comes with a snack. These are famous cook, birds' famous cookies in a very, very tiny box. Okay, they're not a big box. The retail value on the birds' famous cookies is four dollars so someone somewhere decided that since they put it in a fancy box it was worth four dollars and because they put famous cookies on it it was worth four dollars these are not worth four dollars i would not pay four dollars for these these would you pay four dollars for these grace grace says i use her money so yeah sure why not <laughs> you can't have any as chocolate you can't have any as chocolate so anyway um so yeah, this tiny little bag, size of my hand, um, you're not getting any chocolate that I can't get into. <laughs> okay, I was opening it the wrong way. This tiny little bag that just because it comes in a fancy little box, they're going to say this is worth $4 because they put famous in front of it. Okay, these are the cookies. Okay, let me let me show these. These are cookies. Okay, now they look they look okay. They don't look bad. Let me see if I can get it to. They don't look bad. They don't look great, but they don't look bad. They're all different sizes. You I don't know. Let's see. It's, uh, it's 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. You get 10 cookies. 
10 cookies for four dollars I don't care if they come in a pretty box I don't care if it says famous 10 cookies for four dollars someone was high on something when they priced these things I'm telling you I'm gonna taste it though Not too crunchy, not too chewy. They're good. I will give that. They're good. They're chocolate chip. If you fuck up chocolate chip, and yes, I'm cussing in this one. I don't care. If you manage to fuck up chocolate chip, you got some serious issues. <laughs> I mean, seriously. It's chocolate chip. Now, would I pay $4 for this? Hell no. Because you know what? I can go to Walmart, pay, what is it, $2.98? I think it's like $2.98, $3.98, somewhere around there for a big thing of chocolate chip cookies. Good chocolate chip cookies. Much whoa, bigger whoa. chocolate chip cookies. So no, I would not pay $4 for 10 little bitty tiny chocolate chip cookies. Ooh. Wouldn't do it. You're not paying for the cookies. You know what you're paying for? You're paying for that pretty box. This is a buck worth of cookies. That's a $3 box. That's what you're paying for. Toll House. Toll House. Seriously. Toll House. Not sponsored. I'm just poor. <laughs> Flat out. I'm just poor and you know what? If I'm gonna buy cookies, damn it, I'm gonna buy cookies. Um, so anyway. The next thing is, this is Caracolor Purifying Plus Leave-In Conditioner. Now, I will say this. I will probably use this because I love leave-in conditioner because my hair is, like, insane. So. Hmm. Not impressed by the, call, by the smell. Um, it's seven fluid ounces, so that's not bad. It doesn't really have a smell. I like leave-in conditioner to have at least a little bit of a pleasant smell. This, <laughs> seven fluid ounces of Caracolor Purifying Plus Leave-In Conditioner. Retail value, 20 bucks. Really? It doesn't have that, uh, have a smell. Which I'm sure some people think is great. Um, see. Doesn't say anything about, you know, whether it's like, you know, vegan, cruelty free. It says it's for medium to coarse hair, which would work with mine because my hair is basically like, you know, straw right now. Which is why it's back in a knot. So, yeah. Did you see that? That's why it's back in a knot. Um, it doesn't say anything about it being vegan, cruelty free. It's got, has a lot of alcohol in it. Okay, so it's got a lot of alcohol in it. Um, and a lot of chemicals that I don't know what the hell they are. So, yeah. The only thing it does say on here in very tiny little letters. Can you see that? No no testing on animals. Not animal tested. That's what it says. Not no animal testing. So that's that's the only thing it says on there. It's not no animal testing. Doesn't say anything about vegan or any cruelty free or anything like that. Just no animal testing. Which is good. I, I approve of that. And twenty bucks for a fancy brand is not a lot, but you know what? Stores, you can get a good leave-in conditioner for five bucks. Five, eight bucks, maybe. Um, you don't need to go spend 20. For 20 bucks, this better be the best damn leave-in con conditioner on the planet. For 20 bucks, it should help with the laundry. It really should, and considering the amount of laundry I have right now, it really should help. 
Okay, um, this one I wasn't really happy about. I took one look at it and I'm it said, it's a white box. Then I looked at the back and it says makeup drop. So I knew what it was. <laughs> it is a silicone makeup blender. Makeup drop, don't waste a drop. Makeup drop, don't waste a drop. There you go. Okay, I already have a silicone blender. I've never used it. So, I will say, I, I'm not sure about the silicone blenders. I mean, they seem nice. Every time I touch a silicone blender, this is terrible. Every time I touch a silicone blender, every time I see a silicone blender, I, I think fake boob. <laughs> fake boob, butt implants, cheek implants. <laughs> That's what I think of. You know, I think of those, those underwear that have the butt you know, the butt things to make your butt look bigger. I think of that. Um, and the same thing is like, if you want to make your boobs look bigger without, you know, any kind of surgery, or they've got the big, the, the pads that are made out of the, this type of material that you put in your bra. Um, I will say this one, this one feels better than the one I have. This one, the one I have is very shiny and very slippery. And this one has a little bit more of a matted texture to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit more matted. And, you know, I do not care for the little, that little thing. I don't care for that. But, I mean, otherwise, it's nice. It's squishy. <laughs> I think I would probably be more apt to use it as a uh, stress ball. <laughs> I'm stressed. You know, so. <laughs> it does feel nice, though. Um, haven't used the other one I have. Don't know if I will ever use this one. But it feels nice. Um, I would imagine it's also easy to clean. So, the makeup... Whoopsie! The makeup drop. Don't miss a drop. Beauty blender. It's a makeup drop silicone beauty applicator. $20. 20 I will say this it says cruelty free non toxic paraben free so if you can see up and if you can see if I can get it to focus it says cruelty free non toxic paraben free if I can get it to focus or I think that focused there you go you can see that okay so that is something um So, I mean, they even have a video to help you. Okay, see, I don't know if you can see that. There is um, contact information there. Up here, there is a website. If you can zoom in, it will, Epic Guests give you a um, how-to video on that. So, as simple, and the cleaning is simply clean the makeup drop with warm water and soap or antibacterial wipe. Okay, so easy cleaning. I don't know where I put the box. Oh, there's it. 20 bucks. I don't know. I'm cheap when it comes to makeup. I don't like to spend money on makeup. I don't. Okay, this is Dr. Bo Dr. Botanicals. And this is a vegan friendly. This is a lightweight facial oil infused with vitamins and oils for brighter, even skin tone. Okay, it is vegan friendly. It gives you instructions. All it says is that it's vegan friendly. That's it. It says vegan friendly right there. Um, this is it right there. It's a pretty pink color. Um, it's... this down or I'll wipe it. You see? It's on my hand. It has a very light smell. It's not unpleasant. So it's not an unpleasant smell, but it's not heavy. 
Um, it is Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. Okay. For external use only. Who would put it anywhere else? Who has put, been putting facial oil someplace that they shouldn't have been? For them to need that. Like. So, but yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's nice. It's light. This is... Oh, God. Um, hmm. Okay. Dr. Botanicals are all vegan, certified, all natural, never tested on animals. It says it on the card. So, um... It's cute. It's got a nice little scent. It retails for forty-five dollars. Look at look at the size. If it's in my palm, forty-five dollars for this. Um, it is one point zero one fluid ounces. Forty-five dollars. <laughs> um, I mean, I'll probably use it because I mean, you know, for that one little little smudge I put on my hand, it covered like almost the entire top of my hand. And if I had tried, it would have probably covered more. Is it worth $45? I don't know. I think the minute you start saying, you know, like vegan, cruelty free, you know, the minute you start putting that on stuff, it automatic automatically shoots the price up. So, we always leave the jewelry for last. This is Star Drops. Star Drops. Now, Star Drops is light activated glow drops. Let's see what it says over here on Star, uh, Star Drops. Um, if I can find it. Oh, star drops. Enchant your liquid foundation and creams by adding just a few drops of this magical elixir and transforming them into a multifunctional project that will leave behind a sensual golden beam that flatters all skin tones. Okay. I can't read it, so. It says vegan with star fruit extract and aragon oil. No mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates, hypoallergenic, no non Comedogenic. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. Vegetable derived, natural. So I mean, you know, it's it's derived from the star fruit. It's supposed to be good. Um, let's see. It's pre it's it's tiny. Okay, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, let's see if this has a smell. Wow, look at that. That shiny. There's not really a smell. Let's see. I'll put that on there. And then I close this up and set it to the side. I've got oil all over my hand. <laughs> so, see? can't really see it on camera, but it does have a, a shine to it. It's it's not a bold shine, but it's a little shine. More of it stayed on my finger than went on my hand. And now it's all over my finger. So. I thought I had to sneeze there for a minute. Okay. So this is Star Drops. Oh, God. This teeny tiny little bottle, which is, um, let's see if it gives a size on it, 0 0.20 fluid ounces of this, 0 0.20 fluid ounces. This retails at $35, 30, 35 for this. I mean, it's pretty, it comes in a cute little box, but, um, is it 30 bucks worth? I don't know. I mean, there's a... There's a little bit of a glow in my hand. If I add it with my my foundation, yeah, there'll probably be a little bit of a glow. But is it thirty worth thirty five dollars? I don't think so. That's just me. I want something to wipe my hand off with. And now everything falls. <laughs> oh, huzzah! I found it. I found a napkin. So it does. It's not coming off. It's not, it's not coming off. See, I know that's probably not healthy. It comes from Starfruit. Okay, it's, it almost came off, kind of. So, um, 
And we always use leave the jewelry for last. Okay, there are two products left. These are socks. They're called I Don't Give a Flock. And believe it or not, they're actually in the right size. 9 to 11, made in Korea. They're by K-Bell. And they have um, flamingos on them. And it says I Don't Give a Flock. And I'll take them. I didn't take them loose last time. Ooh, hello. But, um, so yeah. I am very hard on socks. I should say, my pets are hard on socks. I set them down, then they disappear. <laughs> so, I mean, they're cute socks. You know, I don't give a fuck. Okay. They're cute socks. They're stretchy. They've got good material. I mean, I can see myself wearing these. Um, problem is with lymphedema, it's hard to wear socks. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's an infidel coming towards the cat in the yard. It's a nice way of saying they saw a cat. But anyway, um, they're nice socks. Whoa, whoa. Mm. Had to do that. They are nice socks. They are twelve dollars. For this pair of socks. The retail value. Do I think that they are $12 socks? Um, I can see them charging $12 for them. Would I pay $12 for them? No. I wouldn't. But they're cute. And I love them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, now the last thing is by Samatha Faye. It is the jewelry. I will say this about the jewelry. Um, it's cute. It comes in cute little bags and different things like that. Um, this is in, what they call it? <laughs> it's got a nice long chain on it. Um, I like it. I don't know if you can see. It's an arrowhead necklace, nice long chain, an extender thing on it. <laughs> Samantha K necklace. Samantha Fay necklace. Sixty-eight dollar retail value. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like it. Do I think it's worth sixty-eight dollars? No. But most of their jewelry retails whoa. in the sixties, and whoa. I don't think any of it is worth sixty something. So, but it's cute. It comes in a little bag. Um, and that's it. They single sided me against my will, and then they didn't even send, I think, enough items. I mean, Money-wise, like I said, they're saying that it retails. I don't know what you're barking at, but I, I don't know. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure you're doing a good job, scaring the, scaring the trespassers away. No one trespasses in our house. <laughs> it's. You know what? I just, I don't like the box. Even if I had wanted this box, I would not like it. I think the fact that I didn't want the box makes me dislike it even actually more harsh on it to a certain extent. Which I'm trying not to be. I'm trying to be, you know, open. <laughs> um... I have the entire box. Excuse my cookie eating. Um, the only things I might buy in this box, if they were not charging what the paper says they're charging, the only things I might buy in this box will be the socks. And maybe the cookies just for like novelty sake to try them, but not for $4. And I wouldn't buy these for 12 either. But, they are good cookies. Excuse me. They are good cookies. They are cute socks. And, um, you know, I do like them. I don't know that they will really fit me, but I like them. And especially with the lymphedema, you know. They're not as stretchy as I would like, but they do feel comfortable. 
So, I guess we'll see. But, um, quite honestly, those are the only things that I would buy in there. Because, I mean, leave-in conditioner is great. Well, it doesn't have a scent. And it is too damned expensive. <laughs> hey, Mommy. How are you? You're driving down that road too fast. But anyway, so... All in all, when it comes to this box. Um, Content-wise, out of 10, I'm going to give it maybe a 6. Just for the simple fact that I wasn't too thrilled with it. Um, so content-wise, it gets a 6. Customer service-wise, they get like a 2. Because, I mean, if someone cancels their box their subscription they want it canceled they don't want you to just say hey they're happy about the 30% let's go ahead and charge them no 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 that's not how this works mm -mm. nope not how it works what'd you get out of that you don't need in the trash can he has managed to find something to stand up on so he can be nosy in the trash can there is nothing in there that you need you're gonna fall down and hurt yourself they're so nosy sometimes. But anyway, um, over, uh, overall, um, normally I'll give things a thumbs up or a thumbs down. <sighs> Between customer service and content, I'm not happy. If I just have to look at content and just kind of like ignore the customer service part about the fact that, you know, they stole my money, um, I'm going to give have to give it a thumbs down because I just, I don't know, I don't like the products. I mean, I'm not thrilled by them. I might use them, I might not, but it's not stuff that I really want. I will say this, and I will get closer to say it. At least, they did not give me another black eyeliner. Excuse me. It's the cookie's fault. They did not give me another, another black eyeliner, so I will say that is a plus. Um... Because this box pretty much has given me a black eyeliner whoa, whoa. in every box. Um, and there are only so many black eyeliners that you need. Now, granted, the last black eyeliner had silver sparkles in it. Yay! Yeah. It's a black eyeliner. So, but overall, just kind of ignoring the customer service issue and the fact that they stole my money. <laughs> Seriously, hashtag where's my money, bitch. Whoa. Um, I'm going to have to say that I give it a thumbs down. Except for the socks. I think the socks are cute. The cookies taste good. They're not $4 worth cookies. Do not ever pay $4 for cookies. That's just insanity. The only, you know, gourmet cookies, maybe, you know, like, ooh, like those... Milano cookies in the store? Yeah, okay. I could see paying good money for those, but not this. And I am at almost an hour now. <laughs> I have been rambling and bitching for almost an hour. So, yeah. Thumbs down to this box. Um, use caution when you get into a subscription box. Um, just because you're canceled doesn't mean they're not going to try and charge you again. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, proceed with caution. And on that note, since it is getting dark, very dark, and I want to go in the house before he can totally tump over the garbage can and do God knows what kind of damage to the yard. <laughs> Not that you can do much damage to the yard, it's already just, you know. But anyway, on that note, much love from Auntie in a very curious place. Stay strange, sweeties. Bye.